Okay, guys, welcome back to The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson. We're nearing the end of the book. We are on chapter 25. This is part two. They have made their way back to Mizwa. And uh, all the beings of Mizwa were waiting for them to return, holding torches to light their way back. When they did arrive back in Mizwa, Muskwa, the great bear, was there. And Muskwa actually has now asked Eric if she would like to be part uh, of Mizwa, of the village of Mizwa. And, and Eric has, is very happy to be part of Mizwa and to live there. And they made a few little jokes, you know, like, we want you to come here so we don't have to catch you, you know, stealing food from our trap line and things like that. But everybody is really, Eric is being recognized for the good she has done for the village of, of Mizwa, and not only for Mizwa, for all of Veskai. Okay. Um, so just page 227 at the end. Muskwa. Eric sounded breathless, unable to find the words for once. And not only because it'll protect our traps, Muskwa chuckled. So he's making a little joke. Hey, Chief Muskwa, Eric said. I would be proud to live here. She sure has earned it. Good. Muskwa took a long, sad look at the sky, at the Ochek constellation, which had followed the travelers all the way here. You may stay in Ochek's lodge. Eric nodded, then backed away to beside the humans. Children, Muskwa said, come forward. Eli and Morgan did as asked. How do you know about Ochek? Morgan asked. Only speak when spoken to, Eli said to her sister. It's okay, young one. Again, here's Morgan, always asking questions, always needing to know all the answers to everything. How do you know about Ochek? <laughs> it's okay, young one, Muskwa said. We saw the explosion of light from here in Mizwa and the new stars in the sky. The green time danced through our village in a heavy, warm wind. Muskwa closed his eyes as though to pray. Then Kissamanitou spoke to all of us about what had happened, about our great hunter's sacrifice. So Kissamanitou, creator, not only spoke to Eric and Eli and Morgan, Creator came and spoke to the villagers of Mizwa and explained what Ochek had done, the sacrifice Ochek had made for the well-being of others. The bear opened his eyes and looked at the two children, nodding his head. You've done a selfless thing for this village, Muskwa said. We honor you for that. You could have left but you chose to stay and help us, help Ochek. He offered each sibling a tobacco tie, placing the sacred medicine in their left hands. It, it wasn't us, Morgan said, it was Ochek. We didn't even, and Mahihak Maikaan too, Eli added. Eli is very, very concerned about this. He wants to ensure that the wolf is recognized for what the wolf did. The wolf made a mistake, did do wrong, but in the end, uh, Mahikan, the wolf, did right. He did the right thing. Muskwa looked the travelers over, from Eric to Eli to Morgan. Each one of you had a role, big or small, in bringing the green time back to the North Country. This story will be passed down from one generation to the next. We will not forget what has happened here. I don't think we'll ever forget it either, Morgan said. You're welcome, 
to stay longer if you wish, Masqua said. Can we? Eli asked Morgan. Morgan shook her head. She answered to Musqua, but had kept her eyes on Eli. Thanks for the offer, but we can't. There are people waiting for us back home. Eli's lips began to quiver. His eyes began to water, but he nodded reluctantly. We can come back, she said to Eli. If that's okay with you, she said to Musqua. You will always be welcome here, Musqua said. And you're welcome too to stay till morning rather than travel across the barren grounds at night. That's okay, Morgan said. I'm not afraid of the dark. That's a change. There's been a lot of changes within this story. A lot of changes within the characters, within the setting, within the seasons that we're in. The, hu the biggest change is Mizwa now is in the green time. And the people and the, the beings of Mizwa will be able to to survive and live off the land the way they always have, by not being greedy, by taking only what is needed and using everything. That is a huge change. We have characters that have changed. We saw the wolf who changed. We saw, we've seen a change in Morgan. She knows who she is now. She remembers. We saw a change in Eric, who took this time to do what also was right, instead of continuing on with her life and not supporting Mizwa. We have a change with the loss of Ochek. So there's a lot of change. Everything changes. See